And we're rolling. Hello. Good evening. Good morning. How you doing? Sorry, I have a my braid is itching. Um, how's it going, man? I hope you guys are doing good. Uh, it's Thursday, the eleventh. Today, eleventh. Yeah, February eleventh, twenty twenty one. Here we are, second month of of the new year. Seems to already be speeding on by, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been, uh, I've been doing some shit. I, I got a, an interview, a job interview tomorrow, and it's one of those weird things where it's, you know, I'm going to go to the interview, but it's really for a job that I don't think I want. I mean, it, it, I want the job. I just don't think I want, uh, the, yeah, I don't know. There's some things that I'm not totally sure about just shit that I got to find out about tomorrow, so I will wish me luck. Wish me luck. That's all I can ask. But uh, uh, I wanted to um, so say hello to the new subscribers and then all the new people that are that are signed up on the mailing list. It's so wonderful. You have no idea how excited I am about this. Um, we've we've gotten every day. We seem to get some new members and um, we've gotten some new subscribers to the Die Hard Faithful Club. If you don't know what that is, I know it's up on the website. So you, it's it's all just one big umbrella. Uh, but it's essentially what I was doing from, with my Patreon group um, the last couple of years. Uh, it's just a subscription-based uh, exclusive club. You get all kinds of fun stuff, and I'm really excited about it. Uh, I, I, uh, I've, I've, it, for some reason, being over on this platform as opposed to doing it on Patreon. I know I beat up on Patreon a lot, and, and I don't mean to because uh, it's a good service. I just, um, I'm so thrilled with with how I feel. I feel open and liberated, and kind of, uh, I don't know, it, it's sexy. No, not sexy. I don't feel sexy yet. Although I have, I did work out last night with my wife Allison, and that was, um, it was funny. Um, I don't know if you know this. I have a beard, and I'm getting it caught on my microphone, in my uh, harmonica stand. Um, my my wife Allison owns her own gym, and she's always giving me this great advice about fitness stuff, and I just don't listen. I mean, I do listen, and I and, and her 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 words do ring in my my head at all the weirdest times, like. I'll be lifting something, and I'll hear her go, make sure to lift correctly, bend your knee, you know. And so that stuff is good. But, you know, I, I've also I, – I feel like um, she's such a great teacher, and I feel like I'm such – I'm really good at being stubborn and ornery, and, and I don't – maybe I don't – I'm not ready to give that up yet. But um, yesterday, last night when we went to the gym together, it was – no, it was just me and her and the dogs, and she was – she's such a great teacher. She's very patient. And uh, explains things so thoroughly and well. And I found the part of me that doesn't like to – that starts to rebel against being told what to do, which is not what she's doing at all, but it's just my natural – my own hang-up. I feel that just melted away right away, and I just – I was listening, and I was trying to, to follow her instructions, and it actually worked. It felt good, and I'm looking forward to it. I think we're going to get back together tomorrow for another session. Lord knows I need it. All right. On that note, let's do a song. This, this is a song that uh, I wrote back in 2015 uh, called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, Baby. And some of you have heard this song. Uh, um, Allison and I have played together quite a bit. Her voice on it is wonderful. I love it. Uh, and I am listening to you guys. I know f quite a few people have said, hey, where's Allison? How come she's not on these? Um, it's just, it's our schedules are, are, are really opposite at this point. Uh, she works in the mornings and in the afternoons, and I'm kind of just going to sleep. Like you know, tonight I'm going to bed earlier because I have this job to interview. But yeah, it's just scheduling, and we will do it. We've got some we've got some ideas that we want to do together. Um, but uh, it's just a weird song. It's a song that kind of once I finished it, I realized that it was kind of a it was it was like I envision a guy who's talking to his his loved his his loved one his woman. Uh, maybe maybe it's not his woman. I don't know. Uh, but talking to his partner who is incarcerated or in legal trouble, and um, he's kind of trying to confide and and uh, uh, support and and try to not you know try to try to ease her mind or his mind. Um, and uh, it's an interesting thing because I don't write often like that. In that vein, but there, I have another song from way, way back, from back in the you know late '80s, early '90s, called uh, uh, "Won't Be Boring," which was basically a, a, a conversation between a man and his incarcerated wife, um, 
and he's just talking about um, it, it's a weird it's a weird it's a weird concept. So I don't know. Um, listen to it and see what you think. Here we go. Don't sweat the small stuff, baby. Don't. I needed to take my own advice on that one. I, um, yeah. All right, you guys. Uh, I hope you're doing well. I'm going to go home and try to get some sleep. So thanks once again for all your love and all your kindness and all of your support. And I can't wait. We're just going to do this all year long. Maybe, uh, maybe for the next decade. Who knows? All right, take care. We'll talk to you soon. Much love. Bye.